hey guys. You know what? I'm gonna have to sit up. Okay. Yeah. So I just wanted to say um, that if you're watching this and you don't know, um, I lost my dad in October 2021 um, and obviously have been going through the hardest year of my life. Grief is unbearable at times. Um, it's been it's been trying to basically trying to handle how to grieve in peace and get on with my life at the same time because obviously the world doesn't stop. I've finished my secondary degree now. I just wanted to get through this year to be honest. This last week I'm going through a proper depressive episode and it's hard because um, I already deal with my mental health and I already was dealing with my mental health before losing my dad and now it's like another layer the last few days and I haven't really been leaving the house or leaving my room in fact. So today I have decided I am back on my hot girl shit and I thought I'd vlog it. But yeah, come along with me, spend the day with me, grief diaries. Cool. my dad there are like different types of grief that I'm experiencing it's always niggling it doesn't matter what I'm doing it's always there but then sometimes it's like more prominent but I feel like yeah I'm grieving for myself for all the things that like I won't have my dad around for I'm reminded of it every day when I want to talk to him and I can't and then there's I'm grieving like for my mum, they were married for 36 years. My mum, my sister, my brother. Like, I grieve for them. And then I'm grieving for my dad and all the things that he won't get to do. It just sucks. It's just, like, so unfair. So, yeah. That's, like, how I experience grief in those three different ways. Um, but the most prominent one is, like, for myself and, like, just wanting to talk to my dad. Tell him something that's happened and not be able to. I'm gonna continue to eat my bagel now. Demolished. Kara and hates it to come over. Um, 
so I've just put some clothes on because I was just in my pyjamas. Just put some clothes on, I'm going to walk over and it's always good for my mental health to go to H's, so yeah. I just want to say that like I'm still a hot girl when I don't get out of bed all day because I'm grieving and I'm also dealing with depression. Yeah hot girls have mental health issues so 